Well, I think um, they're, first of all, they're in a very similar situation to us. Um, you know, they're trying to rebuild their their club a little bit. Um, they're trying to instill philosophy. Um, they're trying to work on, on a way that they want to play and be consistent at that. And yet they have a lot of new pieces in their lineup. Um, you know, I know Oscar and Wilmer pretty well. And, and um, at least from a philosophical standpoint, I know what they're trying to do. Um, and they had a tough start, uh, similar to ours last weekend, um, where they, they probably feel like they should have scored a, uh, a goal or two or three, and that didn't happen for them. Um, so we're both in a position of, of needing to win very badly in week two. Um, and that's going to be that's going to be really difficult. Um, but, I, you know, I do know this about Colorado. It's a hard place to play, no matter who's on the field. Um, no matter what the record is, it's an extremely difficult uh, place to play. One, the altitude, uh, it gets to you. You know, um, in this sport, um, playing at the level that we're trying to play at, the altitude has an effect. Um, and we'll have to change some of our tactics because of that. Um, and yet, they're, they're their season opener this weekend. Um, that always puts a little bit of juice in a, a player's legs, and then they need it. So again. All in all, we're in similar positions, and um, two teams fighting to take it back on the right side of the board. John, you talked about how the L2s is there, and you didn't have great results. Do you have a lineup you're going to use in a Colorado game? Um, I haven't made that, that decision yet, um, but I would expect some, some, some different players uh, in the lineup. Maybe not a lot, but, but we certainly, uh, I said it last week, um, I feel like we have good depth. Um, and there's guys that have been competing and training for the last seven weeks now that deserve an opportunity. And um, certainly when you get caught on the, the side of the, the scoreline that we did, uh, I think players and everybody expects some changes to be made. Can you talk about that Connor going back to Colorado and whether he might be one of the bigger guys to have seen more fun? Certainly. Um, look, there's. I don't think there's any better motivation than a player going back to his home club um, and trying to make sure that, that he puts a little bit of uh, salt in the wound, uh, if you will. We saw Christian Ronaldo do it yesterday at Old Trafford, and uh, you know, for Connor, I think that would be great. Um, and I, I certainly think um, it's a great possibility for us to do that. John, we went back. I probably never watched a game as many times back as I watched this one back. Right. Um, <laughs> more than, I mean, straight through probably three times and then doing film edits and just going back and forth trying to say, what, what were we doing in that situation? It was a lot. Um, better part of three days. The one thing that still has me um, a little bit baffled is that we played so good for 40 minutes of that game. And in one moment in the first half, we kind of let our guard down. And we get punished because of it. The next 10 minutes after the goal, after the you know, start of the second half, we were not good. Like, we looked like a completely different team. Um, and that was after you know what I thought was a, a motivational halftime talk, to say the least, uh, addressing some problems and and uh, hopefully motivating guys to go back. That obviously did not work. 
Okay, so I'll have to change. I'm going to throw a lot of Gatorade around the, the cooler, the locker room, uh, maybe the cold coolers on Saturday. Um, but all that joking aside, um, you know, we got back into it a little bit, and then they score again. From that point on, we go back to the way we're playing, and we, we create the chances, create some really good ones, don't score, but if you look at all the stats, it's amazing that for 70 minutes of that game, we we dictate in every area, and for 20, maybe 25 of it, it's absolutely a different team on the field, and I, I don't have an answer for that. Um, all I can say is that we are you know, going to preach the consistency and say, if you can do it for that long, against that quality of an opponent, there is no reason, you know, to ever let down. And, and that, I, I think it really what it comes down to is it was a mental letdown. John, are you, uh, are you surprised to see Deshaun Brown and Dylan Powers start for Colorado make their, their first starts in the very first game? Well, they had some, they had some injuries, uh, you know, so I think that, and I don't know how they've been training. Um, I know Dylan uh, very well. Um, from his days with the U.S. Um, national teams and the youth teams. Um, and I think he's a really good player. I mean, he's a solid, he, you know, he was probably a, a guy that in the, coming out of the draft was, was, he could fit in with any team just as a soccer player. Deshaun has got incredible talent. Um, and it's just a matter of Deshaun putting that talent together. And um, obviously he, he did that enough to impress their staff. I was a little surprised that both of them started in the first game, but I know they had some injuries. Um, you know, they had Buttle, who um, I hear was was healthy but had a, had a, uh, a little nagging injury. So I think there could be some changes, similar to the way I've referenced for us. I think there's some possible changes for them coming into this game. How do you like playing on like Park and together in the Um, yeah, I mean, uh, sure. They, they, they're, they're two of our more skillful players. Uh, they have, you know, they, they play with a lot of creativity, a lot of flair. They certainly know each other's tendencies better than anybody. Um, and they, you know, I thought Gabriel, in fact, was one of the better players in the match for, for long parts of the, the game on, on Saturday. And which is great to see that. Because um, that means that we, you know, we're able to, to push him farther up the field. Um, at the same time, that has to do with Ray Gattis being, in our mind, um, as effective as he was. And yet, you know, as we sit here and we look, watch the game back seven times or whatnot, we know we have to improve, and, and it falls directly on guys that we are putting a lot of emphasis on. So, from Michael Farfan to Regiatis to Gabriel, you know, those guys, they have to have better games, more consistent games, so that it puts us in a better position. Um, at the end of the day, I, I was pleased with um, that move and, and thought for, for a lot of the, the game it worked. Is it good to go on the road sometimes, John? Or is it not good? Uh, it depends. I mean, right now, we just got out of one of the coldest, miserable practices I've ever been in. I mean, my fingers and toes are still, you know, an hour and a half from thawing out. Um, but I know it's going to be a little, it's supposed to be worse um, in Denver on, on Saturday. Denver weather's a little different, um, but the temperature's supposed to be a little colder. There's a chance of snow. And this was like sideways wind at 30 miles an hour, and it felt like it was, you know, sub-freezing. So uh, we'll see. Um, in this case, I don't think going on the road in Colorado makes it easy because of the, the altitude factor more than anything. Um, it's a really tough place to play. Again, the, the kind of sport that we have, uh, a very endurance aerobic um, type activity, it's really tough for athletes to, to go into that kind of environment and uh, perform well. But that's our task and we're certainly, uh, that's our plan is to go do that exact thing. Thoughts on Colorado bringing in Danny Longa? Yeah, this was the opposite, right? It's the Connor Casey versus Danny Longa show, I guess. And um, you know, I'm sure Danny Longa is going to be extremely motivated 
Um, I know he wasn't in Colorado very long, but now he's had a week or so to, to get adjusted there. So it would be interesting. I think he's one of those guys that, at least on our our scouting reports, we, we feel could be on the field for them. Uh, it'll be good to see him, uh, but I, I probably won't try to talk friendly to him until after the game. So. Can you talk about the uh, Matt Castle mode? You guys had a, a lot of guys on trial. Just what about him? Um, look, Matt, Matt probably deserved the opportunity here as much as anybody. Um, he was with us last um, fall after the season in Pittsburgh ended. Um, and he's just a quality player, quality individual. He fits all the, the things that we look at in a player and a person. Um, so he makes us better. Um, and there's no question that when, when we have him with us, we have another guy, um, both on and off the field, that, that get it and get everything that we're trying to do. Um, so it's good to have him, uh, and we feel good about the fact that we were able to, to sign him. All right. Uh, anyone on the phone there? Any questions? Yeah. Yes, I, I think that guys have to take that, that next step in their own development so that mentally they can get and be effective in a 90 plus minute game. Um, a good example of that I think is Graham Susie, all right? Because I think Ray Gaddis did an incredible job of at least negating a lot of what Graham does well. Yeah, he ends the game with a goal and if you're, depends on what stats you're looking at, either one or two assists. Um, and for that, you know, he's impactful, you know. Um, he, you know, haven't read a ton, but I've, I've seen some things written about, you know, and um, had people tell me that he's been voted one of the best 11 in the week. Um, and for, for me, I think he's an outstanding player. I said it in a press conference on Saturday. I think he's one of the best players in our league. But to be fair, he didn't have the greatest game. He was just, he, he had a huge impact in it. And that's, I think, the difference right now between some of our young guys that play well, but haven't figured out, hey, here's what I have to do to, to make sure that my team wins, to make sure that my team gets the results. And there's a big difference there. Um, and just using Graham as an example, he certainly did that for Sporting KC on, on Saturday. Yeah, uh, look, we would love to be able to, to play Connor this week because, as I alluded to earlier, it's a great motivational um, factor. And, and I think Connor uh, would like nothing more than to have that chance. Um, but to be very honest, we haven't made that determination yet. Um, who would start, who would come off the bench, those kind of things. Um, you know, we still have a couple of days of training before we leave on the trip. Our hope would be that, that Connor plays a, a, a big big role on Saturday for us, for sure. Thank you. Uh, Anybody else? Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you.